morning. What is going on, fish heads? Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. It is time for your next update. It's three minute Thursday, but we're probably going to blow that by at least double the time because I've got a few things that I want to get into. I'm also going to be filming the Mystery Tackle Box spray today as well, which should air tomorrow or Saturday. And I'm, I'm also going to be doing a couple other things uh, with some spray sessions. I'm going to do an aquarium series or a small water. I haven't figured out. I know which bait I'm going to be doing out of the mystery tackle box for October. I know October is almost out of here, but don't forget I spent like two weeks on the road for um, the swim bait show. So without further ado, speaking of swim baits, I'm going to start out with this guy. This is that six inch glide from Bullshad. It's the Gill Glide. Beautiful bait, well weighted, um, got a little bit of a twist on a crappie pattern on this one, but I really like it because it gave me a chance to use these kick-ass um, Dead Meat Customs eyes. I love this silver one for some reason, just one of my favorite of his to use, especially if you have it on um, plain like the white or black, it just really accents the bait well. This is with two coats of KBS. And the stencil is from Anarchy Model UK. I always have theirs and Jetsons in the, or I'm sorry, and Russ Allen's Insane's link in the description below. You can find both of them. Um, just scroll down. I, most of my links that I use are in the description for you guys. I like to try and help you find out uh, whatever you need to help you in your creative process. But this is, yeah, two coats, KBS, rock solid, not going anywhere. Good times. Good bait. Cool bait. Love it. You guys loved it on Instagram, too. Got tons of likes on this one. So this is probably a pattern that you're going to see in January, more than likely. There's going to be four shows um, back to back to back. And we've got the Classic. We've got the Tennessee Expo in Knoxville. There's just a lot of cool stuff coming this, uh, this uh, winter. These, so this, don't let the size fool you. It's a three inch. It's a River to Sea Ruckus. Uh, these little knuckleheads are like three quarter ounce. And packaged well. The hooks are real sticky sharp on them. And they are notorious for being some of the loudest lipless, super loud, Full of tungsten, really good. It's not that cheap BB stuff. It's a really good, loud lipless, and I love, I love throwing lipless in the fall. One of my favorites. I like jerk baits in the fall. I like lipless in the fall. Um, really digging swim baits in the fall. And we're gonna talk about some of the smaller stuff you see behind me because these have dropped. You can actually buy these if you're a member at Carl's. Um, I'll leave that link in the description below for you guys as well. Um, but you know, a lot of people are like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to be a member, you know, it's ridiculous, uh, you, but you're going to save up to 30% on pretty much everything that you get off of Carl's. Not everything is 30%, but you can save up to 30%. Um, the discount on these is phenomenal. If you go to Carl's, uh, shopcarls.com, you're going to see membership. It's a 30-day trial, so if you want to give it a shot, buy a few things, see what you can get. You can always cancel it after 30 days, but let me, let me tell you this. It's only $49 for a whole year. And how much tackle do you guys buy throughout the year? Number one, if you guys are buying tackle like this, like these, on a regular basis, it pays for itself. Uh, because you're getting some phenomenal, and no, nobody else, not Bass Pro, not Dix, not Tackle Warehouse, none of them offer you that deep of a discount, except for maybe at the holidays. Maybe they'll do a 4th of July sale. Carl's is all year long. They're extremely competitive in their pricing to begin with, and I just, it's, they're really up and coming. And I'm behind it because you can get phenomenal deals. And, I mean, 50 bucks, it really, it's not that much to pay for a subscription for an entire year. It's not a monthly, it's just a once a year shot, you're done, and then you're saving money all year long. It pays for itself. Just my humble opinion, but um, I love them. I absolutely love them. It's a great place to find just about anything you need for all the seasons that you're fishing. If you have open water year-round like me, you're fishing year-round. 
I become a massive trout head in the winter. But now that I'm into swim baits, and um, this this is a swim bait, folks. These these are entry level, um, but they they're not cheap by any means because they're smacking the snot out of just about every kind of fish out there from crappie to big old peacocks in south florida to big bass spotted bass smallmouth everything's just hammering these things and then i've tricked them out so these were a pair of just the violet brim and it does have some reflective properties on this one i'm going to show that to you in a little bit this is the storm and you can see that I've done that lightning streaking through this and just some beautiful iridescent ship shape or um, color shift purple and it looks like a lightning storm and then I opposed usually the gills will have and this is the the baby bull gill not the baby shad uh, and just to compare on the differences between the two Let's bring this into play. So this is the baby bull shad. This is one of my customs. The breeding gill. It's four colors and some stenciling. Put the red eyes in. This weighs a half an ounce. This is just a little bit heavier. Um, I would say that this has got, and this is, they're both slow sink. Um, if you put heavier hooks on it, you can get them to suspend. But the whole purpose for little baits like these, these little swim baits, is that you can steady retrieve them, you can slow retrieve them, you can pop them over branches, you can pop them over grass, and they're meant to actually come up in the water column and then they'll, they'll make a V-notch in the water. Um, Tactical Bassin and Bass Resource, there's a lot of YouTube videos that are actually showing. There's pretty much three retrieves that people are using and I use all three of them if I'm fishing super shallow water then I'm doing a steady retrieve and I'm pausing and popping but these just they're just phenomenal but you can see how much thicker this baby bullgill is as opposed to the shad this has got the body shape of a gill this has got the body shape of a shad uh, no brainers. You guys should be fishing these things and fish them year round. Don't be afraid to throw swim baits in the middle of the winter uh, if you if you have open water. Um, just my humble opinion again, but um, two absolutely phenomenal baits from Catchco, collabed with Mike Buca, and you all know that I'm all in on that stuff because they're a lot of fun to throw. The baits actually work and they work well and they catch a ton of fish. And I love throwing customs on small baits. Absolutely do. And then this is the ultraviolet brim. The other one was the storm. And then this, all I'm doing is I'm using the attributes of the bait itself. And you can still see that there's that reflective shine in the cheeks. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, this the violet brim is probably my favorite. They've got six patterns out there. Go to shopcarls.com, go buy yourself a couple of these. You will not, this bait and the shad will not disappoint. They absolutely do not disappoint. So, big fan of them. Love throwing them. That big, bulky, beefy profile, smashing them. And then all I've done is I've, uh, I've added some color to this. I've added a little stenciling. My uh, signature beard, that blue beard that you see on the gills. Just a little stenciling in the cheeks. And this thing is ready to go. Gorgeous. On these ruckus. Also stencils by Brian over at Anarchy. This is the reptile stencil. And he actually has a page now on his website. He didn't used to, but he does now. It's been there for a couple of months. For lore painting. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he does is the small um, characters, the figures, does a lot of stenciling with that. But this, he's now tailoring some of his stencils specifically for lures, and I love that. But yeah, you can find his link in the description. You can find Russ Allen's in the description. And there are these. 
Now, this is sort of like an Alabama shad pattern without the shad dot. And the client asked for a crawfish. So we have given him that. Real pretty baits. These are for Marcel. And then these two, slightly different. You can see the difference in shading. And this has got some, and this is all spec requested by the customer. Asked for a bright red, transparent red stripe on the belly. And on this one, I, I kind of slighted the color, changed it into fluorescent red because I think that goes with this citrus. And a lot of people, what's the difference? Well, there's a big difference. This has just got that stripe and it's got a very clear belly. You can see the gray in that traditional sexy shad pattern. And it's a little bit different of a blue up top. And sometimes, like on the Strike Kings, you'll even see this stenciling, which is the, or the netting, whatever you prefer to use. I used a stencil on this one. Just I wanted to get some smaller scaling. But you'll see that up into the top as well. And then on this one, which is the Citrus Shad, it's a lot different. It's more, almost more like an aqua or turquoise and uh, chartreuse use the q-tip for the shad dot and away we went last thing i wanted to cover with you guys oh and the, the hooks are just insanely sticky sharp i think i probably said that i've done a couple of takes of this this morning for some reason i got choked up on the first one no i don't have the rona um but i just need to take a sip of coffee so i figured i'd do this over again Last thing we're going to talk about is some easy, easy ways for you guys to show off your baits. You can see that I've got this. This was a gift from one of my subscribers on the channel here. Um, sent me this beautiful, it's, I, it's like for cheese or for, you know, it's basically a cutting board. But I use it to kind of showcase some of my baits. And then when you see the Instagram stuff, all this is... This is a notebook with marbling patterns. That's all I'm using. Um, a, just a couple of, of shading grades and occasionally I'll do a lens blur. But that's pretty much it. That's my backdrop. Um, I also have used, I'm going to pull this camera off of the uh, tripod here for a second to show you guys. The other things that I've used in the past, which I'm kind of getting away from now, only because it's been, I've been, every once in a while I like to switch it up. Take that out for you. So you've seen me use this to death, to death, to death. Um, so I'm kind of moving away from that. And the other thing that you can use, baits look really good just on black paper. If you're photographing them, and I'm going to give you an example here if I can get this paper out without wrecking all the, you remember that? Yeah. So just as an example, I'll put this back in the cradle for you guys, on how baits are portrayed on just the black background. And that's, that's really, you don't, as long as you're able to show off what your bait looks like in a relatively good way, and white, you can use just a random white light box. Um, my shadows, like if I would if I would do this professionally, then I would bring this over and kind of play with. But see, it changes the light, that warm light, and then you've got this cool lighting. So if you're taking a picture, you really want one or the other. But that's just a simple, great way to portray your baits. It does a really good job. And the last thing we want to talk about, which I'm going to use in a spray session this weekend for you guys is these. So these are Winsor Newton inks. You can use them in an airbrush. It's actually in a shellac platform. The pigments, but it does say that you can use them with an airbrush. Care should be taken when using an airbrush or fountain pen to ensure the ink does not dry within it. So basically all it's asking you to do there is clean your chamber out, clean that paint cup out as soon as the paint goes through which you guys should be doing anyways. But I'm going to goof around with these this weekend, and uh, we're going to have some fun. That's all I've got for you guys right now. Thank you guys so much, so much for hanging out on the channel. Thanks for 10,000. Yes, there's going to be an actual 10K giveaway video 
it's coming. I haven't done it yet because I don't have all the things that I want to give away in this shop yet. Um, but they're on the way. And once I get those in my paws, you guys are going to get a notification. You have to be subscribed to the channel. So make sure that you get the notification bell. Hit that so that um, you know when I'm uploading new videos. I will see you on the next video coming out tomorrow. It's going to be a spray session. We're going to have some fun. See ya. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.